In this lecture, we're going to take a look at buttons within Ionic Framework. So let's start off by making a standard button. And a standard button can be thought of as a simple platform themed button. So in this circumstance, we'll get a material design style button. And that can be done by saying button and also adding the ion button attribute. So once we've done that, we can then say standard button. As you can see, a standard button does appear on screen and by default, it's colored with the primary color. In this circumstance, the primary color is blue, but we can change that. So let's take a look at some other colors. So we can say colored buttons and I'm going to copy this actually. I'm going to go through and add all the colors from variables.scss. As you can see, we have the following colors, which is primary. Like I said, that one is added by default, so you don't have to specify that. But we can also add secondary, danger, light, and dark. So to add the color, we can say color equals secondary, danger, light, and finally, color equals dark. If we save this and name them appropriately, we can see that we have the secondary button, the danger button, the light button and dark button here on screen. So all of these therefore are classed as standard buttons. We can make our buttons a little more interesting when we use something called a clear button. So a clear button can be thought of as a button with the iron button attribute, but also the clear attribute. Let's do the same with a standard button. And if we save the file, we can instantly see that we have a button, but the button colors have been inverted. So now we have no background color and simply blue text. It takes up the same amount of space on the screen. So for example, if we hover over and select the button, we can see that it does actually still have that ripple effect here on Android. I'm going to copy the colored buttons. I'm going to add clear for each one of these. So you can use the other colors as well. And when we save our file, we can see that we do get the variety of different colors. We can also take a look at something called a round button. So let's add a round buttons. If we copy the clear code, but instead use the attributes of round. And when we save the file, we can see our round buttons appear. It's very similar to the standard buttons, but we have a much more round button instead of the rectangular button here. Another potential button is what's known as the block buttons. So a block button is simply a button with the ion button tag and also block. If we create that and save the file, you can see that the block button is taking up the width of the content. We also have some padding added to our ion content and that's why there's some gaps here at the side. Let's take a look at a very similar concept, and that's a full button. A full button is a button with the ion button attribute and the full attribute. As you can see with the full button, it's very similar to the block button, but the full button does not have rounded corners. It certainly does not stop there. We can also play with the button sizes. So there may be occasions where you want a small button, a medium button, and a large button. Let's have a look at that. We can start off by adding a button here and giving it the ion button attribute and the small attribute. When we give it the small attribute, we can therefore say small button. For a standard button, we simply need to remove the small attribute and leave the ion button attribute. And finally, for a large button, 
can simply add large. If we save our file, we can scroll down and we can see the three different button sizes. We have a small button, a standard button and a large button. We can also make our buttons more interesting with button icons. So if we were to make a button with the ion button attributes and the icon dash left attributes, this would say that an icon is to the left of this button. Inside of here, we can add an ion icon. And I'll use the add icon. So let's give it the name of add. And perhaps our button would say something like new. We can also add a button, but instead of using the icon left, we can use the icon right. This means we need to take this up one. And I'm going to use add again in this instance. And we also have the opportunity to use icon only. So let's add icon dash only and remove the text of new. If we add a H1 here saying button icons and we save our file, we can see that our button icons gives us the button with an icon to the left, an icon to the right, and simply an icon only button. In many circumstances, you also may want to take this icon only and also add clear to that button. And now we have a clear button that represents just an icon. There are other things we can do with our Ionic buttons inside of the navbar. For example, inside of our Ion navbar, underneath the Ion title, let's add an Ion dash buttons tag. Inside of here, we can create a button. I'm going to give this the Ion button attribute and icon only attribute. I'll add the Ion icon once again. This time the icon will have the name of add and we'll also be able to place this button at the start of the navbar. And the start keyword means that it will be to the left of the title. And we also have an end keyword, which can be at the end or the right of the title. To prove this, let's use the iron buttons once more. So I'm going to copy the entirety of this component and place it underneath but this time we'll place it at the end. I'm going to use a different button. This time the icon name will be home instead of add. And once we save this, we can see our two buttons here appear on our navbar. Now on an iOS device, the plus will appear to the left of the title and the home will appear to the right of the title. But on an Android device, it will look like this. So it will depend on what operating system you're actually running, but that's how we add icons at least to our nav bars. So in this video, we've had an in-depth look at all the different types of buttons that we can create inside of our Ionic applications. I hope you found them useful going forward as there is quite a few customizations, one for every application.